Hello, all you beautiful used jizz rags. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Stream over. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch me. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. I hope you like my poem, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I try to wop the wop the. I try to wop the stoom. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. The four of us applaud. One of us applauds. <laughs>I see an annoying girl. Hold on. I gotta be maximum anime wow. protagonist. Wow, super judgy right off the bat. <clears throat> I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <sighs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Hey, you saved, like... <laughs> <laughs> Can I do another take? No. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Being an adult is realizing how many of your decisions are made because of your penis. <laughs> also, is there just a fucking piece of cheese on the chalkboard? It's a sponge. Come on, that makes Why? way more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to, I need to erase this, this thing I wrote on the chalkboard. It's not right. Let me just grab the cheese and... <laughs> there, now you can't see it because it's covered in cheese. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Why do you have no choice? Go pick literally any other club. Chess, Chess club. club is going to get you beat up less than the anime club. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I let out a long sigh. No, I need that breath to live. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. I'm an experienced member. What I'm saying is, I'm a well-used code. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Oh, Ark, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! Except, I'm surrounded by blushing girls. <laughs> Fucking, am I George Clooney? Why is everybody blushing so hard? <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls! If you want to say something, say it. I am going to take off my pants. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Which means that she's probably like 14. Just everybody bear that in mind as you're watching. <laughs> you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear. You can just back ignore to... her when she gets moody. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature <laughs> and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. It's probably because she has more weight to carry around. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see you again, Ark. Still feeling awkward? I take my seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Part of what's throwing me is these damn Japanese names. And like, then Monica. Yeah, like, can you just be like fucking Sarah and Steve? <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. That doesn't look like sneaking glances, that looks like intense staring. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I... I, I guess? I'll tell you what a hot cuppa helps me enjoy. Coffee. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees, as indicated by this text that you just read. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. My dick. <laughs> 
newspaper. <laughs> Monica, I mean, come on, they're all sitting there blushing. We've got fucking Tsundere airplane over here. <laughs> so, Ark, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, uh, uh p porn? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. I can change! Take me! Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, oh, I read a horror book once. I, f I feel like that was a lot of foreshadowing what she just said. That was the most foreshadowing I've ever heard. I read a horror book once. No, before oh. that dumbass was in cheese. Who doesn't want to go to their fantasy world? Well, Stephen King, maybe. <laughs> I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... It's scary! You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And then I was a cute, fluffy bunny. <laughs> and give that back. I don't have it. I I taped it on the school I posted it board. on the internet. <laughs> fine, fine. Hey, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. I swear to God, I read that as penis. <laughs> <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> Everything you do is just as cute as you are. I'm surrounded by 14-year-olds. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. The oh, fuck are you talking about? <laughs> My poems are just things like, I once, I once saw a cat, it was neat and fat. <laughs> I gave it a pet, and, and that my was... face it did eat. <laughs> and that was that. I have an idea, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica, which you would never know because here they are all looking at you. <laughs> Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Alright, time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Honestly, we I think we know less about uh, our childhood friend. That's true. Just we that know she likes books. She likes books, and she's... She a, likes me. And she's a complete <laughs> airhead. Do they have a poem written for every possible combination of words? That would be and some of, of them are just really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you just choose, like, and if you m have no focus whatsoever. And then I found a cute little bunny. I stabbed it in its face, and that I, was funny. I threw it down the waterfall, and I, then I sang a song. A song <laughs> about a skirt giggling in the night sky. It was romantic. And I died of contagion. <laughs> and everyone's just like, you're out of the literature club. <laughs> I'm gonna say warm. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna say clouds. Yeah. Fluffy. We did it. <laughs> Fluffy suicide. Hi again, Ark. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> Nah, don't worry. Pike always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Like that one guy on the YouTube who was smoking while he was doing box openings and set his cigarette on a piece of paper while he was doing a live stream and his apartment lit on fire in the background. <laughs> True story, go look that up. Yeah, let's all be good friends. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. M wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Um, not really. She's becoming British. Oh no, <laughs> I've become British. No! <laughs> she just suffocates herself. <laughs> just jumps out a window. <laughs> oh, don't be shy. <laughs> Immediately what, Don't be shy. immediately what popped into Ooh. my head was Monty Python, like the dummies flying out the window, and I was like, Oh no, I'm even dying Britishly too! <laughs> Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. 
bitch! I underestimated your intelligence because you said you're not a reader. Here you go. It's a Goosebumps book. I'm like, oh. Where's Waldo? This doesn't even have words. <laughs> He's sorry. Also, for a book that doesn't... You pick the one book without words that requires the greatest attention span of all books. <laughs> I can't do Where's Waldo. I have a condition. <laughs> I can't see red and white. I hate you. I hate you. It's too real. <laughs> I can't do Where's Waldo either. <laughs> because I can't see red and then I get sick and tired of it before I found anything. <laughs> I'm like, is that? No, that's not him. Is that him? <coughs> oh, God damn it! You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. <laughs> I don't think she's in there. <laughs> Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I will actually agree with that. Oh, I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Wow, and you're stuck up and pretentious too. You're a real winner. <laughs> Consider this lesson straight from the Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Oh wow, I've never heard that one ever in my entire life since before I was born. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. Oh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. I'm, I'm really surprised at how this book is able to have animation on the front of the cover. Is, wow. You really are a coven, aren't you? <laughs> it's exceedingly moe. Yet Suki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. No, I'm not ready! No! <laughs> <laughs> She's five now. Five! <laughs> Also, her eyes are made of liquid metal. Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Like I could never get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Who thinks that in Japan? Also, sorry, manga. <laughs> I, haven't, I, haven't pronounced it, I haven't pronounced it manga or manga since I was a kid. Yeah, really. I was like, I kept like... <laughs> Are you having a stroke? What's going on over there? Although, anybody who pronounces it anime, it just, I just want to like punch them <laughs> in. Kidney punch, kidney punch, yeah. kidney punch. <laughs> and pause. Kidney, kidney punch. punch. <laughs> I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. <laughs> I found my soulmate. <laughs> Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also not into it. What part of the world are we living in where it's like, you have comic books, you will be punished? <laughs> yeah, this is Japan. A grown men, businessmen, read this shit on the train. Apparently, apparently this game is possible. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did you... Did you a uh, full drink fall? No, just my just my big. This is not cracked, is it? No. Okay, everyone. Huh? <laughs> Are you all ready with today's poems? Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. <laughs> you ass. You're you're not <laughs> fucking sorry, you insensitive whore. <laughs> you cow. <laughs> I'll kill you. I I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. Just do what I do and play a video game and read a and read a manga and watch a TV show and program and draw all at the same time. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I haven't totally lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like mashed potatoes. <laughs> uh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? Baka! You still need to show me yours, right? <sighs> fine, I guess. <clears throat> Eagles can fly. No, you have to read it as her reading it. It's her poem. Yeah, but she's not reading it to you. <laughs> I picture her reading it. Like... This is the this is the voice you hear in your head when you're reading it. Is it? Yep. Okay. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs <laughs> Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. 
<laughs> I like this poem. Also, the music that's happening right now is so fucking Azumanga Dayo. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. But I do like it. I like it. What? <laughs> what? Just be honest. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Just write a poem about dicks and stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get in. Get in on it right now. Five to one. I'm offering odds. Five to one odds that uh, this poem is actually really bad. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I couldn't sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. This is terrible. <laughs> I forgot to start speaking. Is that a common problem for you? Um, You're not allowed to get all kind of sunny to me anymore. <laughs> All right, uh, my word. It would be expected that you would suck so bad that you just die immediately. Is there a club where I can just watch TV and get <laughs> blowjobs? I want to be in that club. Yeah, hang around a little longer. Yay! <laughs> I'll make her as non-British as I possibly can. I hope you like my poem, Yark. <laughs> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, and I flicker back. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction this path will protrude. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. Let me uh, scroll the paper here. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so infested in trying to oppress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> Did I just boing? <laughs> Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Sparks started showing up. Oh, Jesus. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you. you! I don't like fighting guys! I like fighting girls! <laughs> Suddenly, both girls turned toward me as if they just noticed I was standing there. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> how? <laughs> I know how these animes work. I know how these mangas work. <laughs> so let's kill two birds with one stone and be an asshole, asshole of both, both of them. Ark, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. Oh boy. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. All right, so poem from my heart. Okay, swimsuit. Uh, Long just says, did you hear about the guy who ate an entire book of poetry? It made him Henry David Thoreau. Uh, get out of here. All right, so swimsuit, uh, extraordinary. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <clears throat> Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hey, yeah, I think you're looking in a good mood too. Eat dicks. <laughs> Uh, she nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill out onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. You're a ghost! Oh god, it's the scary part! I give up! <laughs> She's doing the cobalt pose. Don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, then that means you deserve to feel guilty. Not true. That's not even close to true. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh. 
Oh, that was you. Oh, eh? You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> give me enough credit that I would have come here because of breasts. I don't need much more credit than that. That's enough. Oh! <laughs> And then she dies. <laughs> Sayori suddenly clasps her, clasps, clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> I, it was a special cookie I made that causes you to bite your tongue. Wah <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and then wraps her arms around her. That, that's not at all what happens. We couldn't be bothered to draw that. We have a budget and all, but <laughs> eh. Ah, jeez. Suddenly, the door swings open. <laughs> sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you- Oh, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. <laughs> ah! I, I feel like it would be- I feel, oh, I, <laughs> You did the exact line by accident. I feel like if you got a view of the world through her eyes, it'd be like that TF2 video about <laughs> meeting oh, the man. pyro. Yeah. <laughs> How are you in a literature club? <laughs> uh, I try to wop the wop the I try to wop the stoom. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I try to wipe the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. I did, and I'm clearly an imbecile. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really give a shit. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, you're like a worthless sack. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? You stupid, worthless <laughs> bitch! I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> Why is she giggling? Because I'm touching her boobs, basically. This is so funny. What is? That you think you're going to live. Is she even wearing <laughs> shoes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm like... You forgot shoes! <laughs> I can't look... fix this problem. <laughs> they do look not very shoe shaped. Yeah. <laughs> like she just painted shoes over her socks. <laughs> Why is there a fisheye lens on your head? The perspective is somebody warped an image rather than doing an actual three point perspective. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. That's kind of the goal. <laughs> How do you think I feel about it, said the 33-year-old man playing this game. <laughs> Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a violin on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Also, are you a robot? <laughs> Malfunctioning robot? That fucking... That image of a chalkboard on a record table is one of the worst things I... No. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods, and timidly hands me her poem. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by a scattering of a raccoon outside my window. Scattering? <laughs> it's the scattering of a raccoon! <laughs> <laughs> that was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. Do you want me to take the hard writing? <laughs> Well, I don't have my glasses on, she writes in stupid cursive. <laughs> I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious fall, aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon and urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. 
What? Oh, classic Pavlovian. I'm like, is this paranoid? What? <laughs> classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. It's a lot more meta- oh, it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. It's your fault. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style, using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. So what are your hobbies? I like to slice raccoons. <laughs> the best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Amy likes spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm doing- I'm just making her happy all the time, this is amazing. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> passive aggressive? <laughs> That's not even passive aggressive. That's just straight up, you like spiders. That makes you a terrible person. I'm gonna tell everybody how terrible you are. Honestly, I think that's a poem about her. <laughs> Moral of this poem is that Natsuki is a sociopath. <laughs> you know what's the best part of this? Is that we're reading this. Do, 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 do. I <laughs> bet you that we're gonna get away from this and you're gonna be like, wow, what is with this mean poem about this girl who likes spiders? And she's gonna be like, you idiot, this is a poem about me. And how everyone hates me for my hobbies. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain com complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk? Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... that doesn't matter. It can be about anything. Oh, she's writing about herself. I except she's told using you. spiders as an analogy. <laughs> I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of if people find out. They'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. What? It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and fuck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles, all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle of starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Like exploring in a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in the rock nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up, and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pulled them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be from my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. All I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! <laughs> the class has the AC up to high. 
Uh, I can't be that high. I can't see any of their nipples. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Apparently they're all 18. I'm in the clear. It's about express that, that's about, <laughs> about being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right! Stop poking me in the eye, bitch. <laughs> also, why is my head so huge? <laughs> It's those reasons that we're all in this club today. The four of us applaud. One of us applauds. <laughs> I have made from my hand, I can't applaud. One eternity later. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Sayori fumbles with her words. But let's just say that one day Yuri asked me to walk home with you. Uh-huh. What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> uh... Yuri's kind of a bitch. <laughs> is she? I'd walk home with Yuri, sure. Oop. Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean... Given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? I'm glad you think so, because that makes this a lot in my... That has nothing to do with what I just said! Ha! <laughs> you admitted it! I did? There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. Earlier that day... Sayori, I'm thinking of asking Ark to walk home with me. I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> it's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori, I'm a strong, independent man who don't need no woman. <laughs> As I sat there at my desk, with my notebook in front of me, I realized I was coming drawing a complete blank. I had no idea what to do. So I just started doing random shit. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> hi, Ark! You don't need to say hi. We've been in this room for like the past ten minutes. <laughs> Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift to the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, and all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight twi <coughs> sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. I am totally... where did it go? I am totally adopting that cube form. I like that. With the little cross With in it. With a little cross. Natsuki holds out her poem to me like nothing even happened. I'll try not to cough blood up on it. <laughs> oh, be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fear that the minister wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when your pressure lifts to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Well done, Ark. 
You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. The lesson today is never try. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the beach that will erode. I'll be the beach that sometimes explodes. <laughs> I'll be the beach full of antipodes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Powerstone wrote something negative about the beach. Natsuki has no idea what she's talking about. Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue skies, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds and endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your, will it gently lick at your poor foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary lines, tempted by the foam tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to the earth forevermore. I will never ever take anything seriously that has the word squish in it. <laughs> this is your best one so far. Well, time to go down to the liquor store and buy me up, like, all the Everclear. <laughs> I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. She's... You're gonna walk right past her, but okay. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? <sighs> it's technically most logical for ARP. ARP? ARP, ARP, ARP. <laughs> to help one of you two. Or, so, or, or. <laughs> I guess that's what we'll do. But I... <laughs> if I say Yuri, which is who I'm going to say right now, or, well, maybe I should go with Natsuki. I like Natsuki. If, if I say Natsuki and this game, like, fucking funnels me into some shit, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it, would probably, it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute, you were saying- just a minute ago, you were saying that- That's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. You're fucking... That's good. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming over to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof! Bye, I'm free! <laughs> You know what, I think this game is going to be, like, a real good example of all roads lead to being stabbed. <laughs>